but the Pakistani military soon found local Bengali allies. Fundamentalist parties began collaborating with them in the name of Islam. This man, Abu Saeed, was a notorious collaborator. Now a British citizen, he runs a Muslim school in the East End of London. It was in the Bangladeshi community in Whitechapel that dispatches first heard allegations that Abu Saeed was in a paramilitary death squad, charges he denies. I challenge you, I challenge everybody for that to find out anything from any record whatsoever, whether here or in Bangladesh. Dispatches went to the far northeast of Bangladesh. Abu Saeed was born and raised here in the province of Silet. He was educated in this traditional Islamic college. Those who grew up with him remember him well. Abu Sayyid was a good student because he memorized the whole of the Holy Quran in just 21 days, three weeks. Only a very bright student could do such a massive task. Abu Sayyidra. From the very beginning, Abu Sayyid was involved with the Islamic Chhatra Shongho, the student branch of Jamaat Islami. The Jamaat Islami was then and is today an extreme group of Muslim fundamentalists. Unlike the Awami League, which stood for a secular independent Bangladesh, the Jamaat wanted to remain part of the Islamic State of Pakistan and was violently opposed to the independence movement. In 1971, this man, Lutfur Rahman, was second in command of the Jamaat in Silhet district. Dr. Foisal Hock practices in the small town of Kanai Ghat. He remembers how a month after the war began, Abu Saeed and Lutfur Rahman addressed a crowd of 500 Jamaatis. They issued a fatwa, a religious edict, sanctioning the murder of their political opponents. The fatwa was issued by Mullah Abu Sayyid. It said that people who joined the war or who were Awami leaguers were kafirs, non-believers. People who captured them or who died capturing them would become martyrs, and if they lived, they would become heroes. Hafiz Lutfur Rahman was at the meeting. He also supported it. Dr. Hawk heard about the fatwa from many different sources. Only one of the eyewitnesses was prepared to talk about it openly. I was going to Kanaigat Bazar. On the right side of the road was the religious school, Mansuriya Madrasha. They were having a meeting there. They were making speeches over the loudspeaker. I heard their announcements over the mic. I heard Abu Said's name announced over the mic. After the fatwa, all the mass killings began. Dr. Hawk was well known as a supporter of the independence movement. Three of us, my nephew Ahmad Hussain, Jalal and myself, were captured one night and taken to the dark bungalow. And we were beaten from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They broke us too. I needed treatment where the skin was peeled off my back. Even my nails fell off. Do you think that your torture was caused by the fatwa? What? It was caused by the fatwa. This action followed the fatwa. Soon after, Lutfur Rahman was one of the signatories of this leaflet distributed around Silhet. We must eliminate people who are traitors, miscreants, separatists and rumour mongers. 
Within a few days, local Jamaat leaders held a meeting here on this school field in nearby Charkai. According to Mufiku Din, Lutfur Rahman was one of the main speakers. They made a list of freedom fighters and active leaders of the Awami League. The purpose of this was to burn the houses, to catch those who supported the Awami League and the freedom fighters. How do you know about the meeting? I was there. I was in Charkhai. There were many people. About a thousand attended the meeting. The organizers were Lutfur Rahman, Monjur Hafiz and Shamsul Haq. These three organized it. It was Lutfur Rahman who drew up the list. The next day, Lutfur Rahman returned to Charkai, leading a mob of 500 Jamaat supporters. They were shouting slogans and marching to the house of an old man, a spiritual leader named Yasmir Dafadar, whose family were prominent members of the Awami League. As the mob marched towards the family compound, his cousin Aklas Ali was forced to join them. Zurgil. I did as I was told. I was frightened. I went along with all the people. We came this way with them. There were thousands of people shouting slogans as they followed. They walked along this road. As the mob approached, Lafadar came out to greet them. As soon as he came out in front of them, they got hold of him. They beat him with a stick. They told me to beat him with a stick. I said I couldn't. In the name of God, I said I couldn't. Monjur Hafiz hit him. He fell and started reciting the Quran. Then those Kafirs insisted. He was saying, victory to Bangladesh. They wanted the Pakistanis to hear them. They claimed, he said, joy Bangla, victory to Bangladesh. Who said joy Bangla? Lutfur Rahman said this. By claiming that the old man had been chanting nationalist slogans, Lutfur Rahman incited the crowd to further violence. They dragged him from here to there, you see. Then they began to beat him and stone him, you see. After that, the three of them kept him there for a few moments, and then they dragged him along this road, the three of them. Look for Rahman, Manjur Hafiz, Shamsul Islam, then threw him into the pond. After the murder, the family compound was looted and set on fire. Lutfur Rahman and two others broke into the old man's house. His widow was beaten up and thrown out of her home. It was the start of a slaughter of innocent civilians that spread across the entire region. Today, Lutfur Rahman is a British citizen and lives in Birmingham. He's the imam of this mosque in the Bordesley Green Islamic Center. He failed to respond to repeated requests to answer the allegations made in this program. Dispatches tracked him down at his home to give him one last opportunity. Um, I'm from Channel 4 Television, Dispatches. Yeah. I'd like to ask you some questions about your wartime activities in 1971. I'm in. Thank you. We have evidence that you were involved in war crimes during no, 1971. No, 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 I was not there. Well, specifically, we have evidence that you were involved in the stoning no, of Yazid no, Tafada in Chokhmah. I, I, no, I, I We also have evidence that you were involved in a fatwa. Sir, these are serious allegations. Can we please talk to you about them? 